Welcome back to the Wave Wire Plug. I'm your host, Mike, here to give you best fantasy advice going to week four. These are the key additions, but wait, add us on all social medias, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. Get all the most up-to-date information you possibly get when you're week in and week out and win your year. Khalil Herbert, running back for the Bears. He is the key addition of the week. You have to add him onto your roster. I don't know why more people don't have him, at least on their bench. He is a focal point for this offense, and he is the better running back for the Bears. He is more explosive, and it shows. He had 20 rushes for 157 yards. He got an amazing 7.85 yards per carry. On top of that, he had two touchdowns. He needs to be on your team regardless of what the Montgomery injury is. He is the handcuff that everyone needs to have. Add him onto your team and just wait. Montgomery is going to continue to be injured like he is every year since his rookie year. Add him onto your team and you will have production either this week, next week, or five weeks from now. So add him. It looks like Aaron Rodgers finally has a wide receiver he can trust. Key addition is Romeo Dobbs, currently only 40% owned. And guess what? Last week he had eight targets, eight catches for 73 yards and a touchdown he is trusting the young rookie wide receiver Watkins is currently went to IR there's going to be more targets that have to go to the rookies Watson and Dobbs but the key addition is Dobbs because he is trusted he targets went to his way he had a killer week going against Tampa Bay's hard defense and I would agree that he is going to have more targets going for key addition is add him to your team he will help you win this week Greg Dolch, wide receiver for Arizona. He is making plays now for the second week, going into week four, and this is already going to be his eighth plus target game so far this year. He had a total of 10 targets, nine catches for 80 yards. He is a playmaker, and guess what? There's nobody else he trusts more than him right now on the field. Hollywood Brown, you know he's a big playmaker. He's his college roommate, but don't forget that Greg Dolch is the one that's making all these catches on the sideline. We're still without Hopkins and more going into a couple more games into the season. So pay attention. He needs to be added to your team. This offense is struggling. And guess what? Dolch is not struggling. Really one of the playmakers. Another tight end is going to make it onto my way bar video. I have David Ojoku, the key addition. Currently only 38% owned. He needs to be featured in this offense. There's not a lot of playmakers outside Cooper and the running backs. But if he has the targets, we'll show you why he's one of the top paid tight ends in the league. Last week, 10 targets, 9 catches, 89 yards and a touchdown. He has the athleticism that he showed when he was drafted from Miami and why he was a first round pick and why he is one of the highest paid tight ends if they can feature him within this offense he has huge upside as a, a tight end one but he needs to be featured if he can get six or more targets per game he will be a huge tight end added to you so go add him to your team good luck honorably mentioned these are players that don't make the top of my list but add them up anyway t law he had three touchdown passes going against the chargers defense love it matt collins he had a huge game two with the raiders he had 10 targets small williams he's owned pretty much 60 percent of the league but with swift being out you must add him if he's there in your in your league add him up real quick because he already had 24 points last week and zay jones he's getting passes from t law he had 10 targets last week he has already had two huge games he add add him up that wraps up week four of Wave Wire Plug. I'm your host, Mike. Hope you have a good week four. Win your game, win your league. Give us a shout out. We hope to hear back from you. Smooches.